Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To access the cropping and rotating tools in the Camera Raw dialog box, click the Crop and Rotate button in the toolbar at the right side of the Camera Raw dialog box. When this button is selected, the Crop tool is automatically activated by default. Additionally, the Crop tab and Rotate and Flip tab appear in the panel to the left of the toolbar, which provide additional settings. To use the Crop tool to remove unwanted parts of the image when the Crop tool is activated, select either the Original, As Shot, or Custom Aspect Ratio from the Aspect Ratio dropdown in the Crop tab of the panel to the left of the toolbar to select a cropping ratio to draw. To draw a freehand cropping bounding box without using a forest aspect ratio, select the Custom choice. Then click and drag to draw a bounding box over the part of the preview image to keep using the specified aspect ratio. Then press the Enter key on your keyboard to finish. Alternatively, to cancel the crop and reset it, Click the Reset Crop button in the upper right corner of the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar. Alternatively, to crop the image to a specific ratio, select the desired numeric ratio from the Aspect Ratio dropdown. To specify a custom numeric ratio, select the Custom command that is followed by the ellipsis mark, not the custom command not followed by the ellipsis mark, from the dropdown to open the Custom Crop dialog box. Then enter the crop ratio to use in this dialog box and click the OK button. After selecting a numeric cropping ratio or creating your own, then click and drag in the image to move the preview image to fit its desired content into the crop ratio area in the bounding box that appears. Then press the Enter key on your keyboard to finish. Alternatively, to cancel the crop and reset it, click the Reset Crop button in the upper right corner of the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar. To lock or unlock the Aspect Ratio when making changes, click the Constrain Aspect Ratio button in the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar to toggle the lock icon on or off. To rotate the aspect ratio, click the Rotate Aspect Ratio button in the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar. To clear a bounding box, click the Reset Crop button in the upper right corner of the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar, or press the Escape key on your keyboard. After drawing a bounding box, to reposition the content of the image within it, click and drag in the bounding box. To change the bounding box's dimensions, place your mouse pointer over the resizing handles at the sides or the corners of the bounding box until a double-pointed arrow appears. Then click and drag in either direction shown by the double-pointed arrow to change its size. To rotate the bounding box, which changes the image's angle, place your pointer slightly outside the bounding box until a bent double-pointed arrow appears. Then click and drag in either direction shown by the double-pointed arrow to rotate the bounding box. You can hold down the Shift key when rotating or resizing to ensure you resize in proportion to the existing dimensions or rotate in set increments. Alternatively, to rotate the image, use the angle slider or type a positive or negative degree up to 45 into the related field. To constrain the crop to the image, check the Constrain to Image checkbox. To use the Straighten tool to straighten a crooked image taken at an angle, Click the Straighten Tool button to the right of the angle slider in the Crop tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar. 
Then click and drag a straight line across the image where you want the bottom of the image to appear. When you release the mouse button, a bounding box then appears on screen. You can adjust its rotation, size, and placement just like when cropping if needed. To finish straightening the image, press your keyboard's Enter key. To rotate or flip the image, click one of the four buttons in the Rotate and Flip tab in the panel to the left of the toolbar when the Crop and Rotate button is selected in the toolbar. The buttons from left to right are Rotate Image 90 Degrees Counterclockwise, Rotate Image 90 Degrees Clockwise, Flip Vertical, and Flip Horizontal. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.